What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video of DB Fishing. Today, very excited, we were up early, me and the dog Ace here, and we are out in far south Manitoba, um, almost at the US border, and we are in the Turtle Mountains Provincial Park at good old Bower Lake. <clears throat> Behind me here. Uh, first time being here, pretty excited. Uh, I hope it goes good today. Um, Bower Lake, we got some brown trout and some rainbow trout. So hopefully today is going to be a good day to chase some trout. Uh, it's been a, quite a few years since I've got a brown trout, so I'd really like to get one of those. But I'll take anything today, making a trip out. And also this lake, there's some bigger ones so we do have a chance of a manitoba master angler the 20 inch is what we're looking for uh like i said first time being here so we got the flip over today and we're gonna head out and see if we can find a weed line to do some fishing off that transition or a point it's a little bit of an inlet here kind of thing in a bay so might try there too but we're gonna poke around get set up and go for some trout But uh, yeah, still setting up. Kind of found where I want to be. Uh, that's 10 feet. I want to be here, which is about seven. And the weed line, you can see those bulrushes and weeds are basically in five to eight feet, kind of from my hole. Uh, on a bit of a point. And then kind of this inlet into this bay so those trout might be just traveling around off this point and on these weeds is kind of what we're hoping so we're going to start there like i said we got the flip over today so if i need to move i mean it's not terrible but uh yeah we're gonna get the pop-up set up in the tent or the cameras in the tent and uh get fishing here okay we are finally set up uh, a little tight with the flip over for filming so it took me a little bit of organizing we got one hole in here and then about 10 15 feet to my side i drilled another couple holes i'm going to set up another rod with the jaw jacker or uh, celsius jaw jacker type and uh go with that route so what we're using today medium light rods six pound uh, floral alberto knot tied to eight pound braid um so with my one rod in here i think to start i'm gonna go with that chartreuse atomic tube and also gonna go with a pink and white one out on the jaw jacker start with that medium light rod and this is just going to be my spare kind of rod in here. 
something a little different. One of these tungsten uh, fat boys by Lindy, little jig head, and paired with a, a small dragon slayer uh, tail by Frostbite. So that's what we're going to try for, to start with here. Also, I'm going to pair them. I got today, brought that Berkeley's trout dough. Gonna just put a little ball on the hook of that, rub it around. And then also I was watching uh, another guy on YouTube, uh, Burke Outdoors, I believe it was. He was here using some of the smelly jelly. Um, this is the herring scented stuff. They say it works really good. So I'm gonna try that out. He did pretty good on his video with this stuff. So try her. I stopped at, uh, on my way here yesterday, Verdon. Uh, they got Stillwater Adventures fishing store, and wow, if you ever have a chance uh, to stop in Verdon, Manitoba, stop there. They have a great selection of tackle and a uh, pretty awesome little store, that's for sure. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go set up the jaw jacker now out here and get a line down because the uh, sun's up here and time to get going. Put this on the highest. Setting. Rod. I'm gonna keep it. I want my hook like a foot and a half to two feet off the bottom, two and a half even. It's fine. It's kind of frozen. It. Someone on the tube and some smelly jelly. Try this out. I think it's just the liquid juice. Oh, that's yeah, like jelly. Yeah. Cool. Rub it on your hands, it says too. It's good. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's get this done. Try that. It's pretty cold out. That's a setup. Sometimes these jaw jackers work the best, actually. Okay, let's get back into the shack. Some putty on the hook. And some smelly jelly. Kind of liquid jelly that I'm going to rub. Rub that in. Okay, let's get down there. Bower Lake, Manitoba. Barbs are pinched. Gotta pinch your barbs here in Manitoba. I don't know why. Uh, more provinces, I guess Saskatchewan. They could probably do it too. Helps release fish a lot better for them. Uh, and lots of people complain you lose fish, but really, I don't think it's that big of a deal. If anything, you lose more bait, not fish. And, uh, yeah, it's a lot better to release fish, especially if they swallow it, it just pops out. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh boy, hiding. Yeah, we just let go. Oh, I'm wrapped up. No, no, no. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Hooked in here right away on this atomic tube. Feels pretty good. 
Let's not lose it here. Oh, it's fighting. Oh. Oh, it's a nice brown. It's a nice brown. Yes. Oh. That's what we're after right away. Awesome. Barbless hook. Pops a little bit. Oh, yes. Look at that. Brownie. Awesome. Look at that thing. Right away. Awesome. Bower Lake. I wanted a brown today. Let's get a measurement quick. Oh, yeah. Well, I hope I'm recording on this. I'm not. Are you kidding? Oh. I wasn't recording on the head cam, the fight. But there it is. 18 and a quarter. A beauty. Look at that brown. Awesome. Okay, let's get him back. That's the, the fight. Big fat one. Woo! Good start. Yeah, I didn't take me long. I didn't have my uh, GoPro head camera on, so probably didn't see a whole, whole lot. But I was gonna put the Aqua View down too over at the um, Jaw Jacker rod there, but this water is pretty murky, so I'm not even gonna bother setting it up. I'm just roll with kind of a. Uh, Big camera in here in the tent and my head camera and uh, try catch a few. I'm not doing a sight hole or anything today either. It's just get set up quick. But yeah, that dough and the smelly jelly with that uh, green atomic tube, uh, that took like 10 minutes of fishing, I bet. Like crazy like I said I didn't even have my GoPro already on okay let's get back down there I hope that's not it Rainbow and browns in here, Bower Lake. A lot of pressure, I think, from uh, Brandon. The city is only a couple hours away, and I think it's a pretty hot destination spot here. But they do stock it quite regularly. I think every second year or every every year. And I want to say there's like six thousand. I'll put it up maybe, but. There's like 6,000 rainbow, I think, in here. I don't know, 6,000 brown or maybe like 10,000 rainbow. It's a pretty decent sized lake. Um, I just walked out today and like I said, I'm kind of at this point in this one bay to the, the east. Um, I'm just kind of set up on the inlet. Done that at a few other lakes for trout, if you can find... Uh, the narrows kind of for an inlet where it's going into another small lake or something seems to be uh, where some trout travel cruise along but I always like being uh, set up just outside a weed edge they're either in those weeds hiding feeding or else pushing bait up into the shallows so uh, yeah I'm about seven feet of water today and uh, it's usually about the deepest I like to be, 10 feet maybe, but 
uh, yeah, anywhere from four to ten, I kind of is is my go-to. I'm sure other guys do good and deep or whatever. But... Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Bite, 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 bite. It's fish, 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 fish. Got him. Oh, I lost him. No. Oh, missed him. Let's get back down there. I'm not even gonna put bait. Oh no. Still there, buddy? Took the dough. Here we go. He's here. Oh, he flew up. Got him that time. Oh yeah. Hammered it. Oh, get my transducer. This is a good one. Oh, come on, Dylan. No. Oh, get your transducer. Yes. Okay, let's handle this one in. Ooh. Scrappy. What do we got here? Don't lose them at the end. Come on. Battling. Missed him the first time. We got. Oh, he is fighting. Battler. These trout are so fun. This is a good one. Oh yeah. He's really on the ice here. I'm stuck on the ice. Oh, I'm stuck on the ice. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, he's turned around. Get your head up, bud. Come on, come on. We want this one. Big rainbow. Oh, he's backwards. Oh no. Come on. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, it's a brown, it's a brown. Get in here, yes. And, woo. Okay. Awesome, let's get him back. Wanted to come for browns. This is a good fat one. Look at that thing. Number two, it's a female. Not very good colors, spots, but it's big. Nice one. That thing fought like crazy, awesome. Awesome, okay, let's get him back here. Back you go. Oh, he's fired up still. Oh, gone. Oh, we're coming up the wrong way, bud. Get down there. There you go. Woo! Awesome, two browns in here. That one took a little longer, it was about a Hour and 15 or so after my first one, that hit right away. And both have been on this green chartreuse, atomic tube, number one hook for me for trout, love it. Ate the dough the first time and I was like, let's just try drop it back down and he came and hit her. Awesome. Come on, jaw jacker. Your turn. You're due. You're due, Jaw Jacker. You're due. Little update here. Uh, been like an hour, haven't had a mark or anything. I poked around outside for a little bit, few holes, fished outside. Nothing, nothing on the Jaw Jacker. Tied up this little uh, rattle bait small, so I'm going to try it for a bit in the tent. And uh, hopefully, get one more would be nice today. Probably got about hour, hour and a half, and I'm probably going to start packing up, so. Yeah, be nice to get one more. Well, it's about 3.30 now. Uh, pretty slow afternoon here, but all in all, 
Not a bad first trip to Bower Lake, Manitoba here for some trout, rainbows, and browns. We got two browns, um, kind of what I was after, I was hoping for. Honestly thought it was going to be the other way around and have a few more rainbows and the browns would be harder to get, but uh, no strikes on the jaw jacker. I was kind of surprised uh, this afternoon. I kind of moved around outside a little bit for an hour, hour and a half, and no... Uh, no bites there. A few marks here this, later this afternoon, but they uh, weren't very aggressive, but that's the way it goes. Uh, still pretty pumped to get those two browns. First time coming to this lake, so it took me a little while to poke around, kind of find a spot where I thought would maybe be good, and uh, I'll definitely be back. But thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time.